I don't know, something about a deadline really scares me. Like, am I the only one? I can't be the only one that freaks out when it comes to, like, you must enter it by this day. Like, oh my god, it's only a month away, and it'll only take me three days, but it still freaks me out. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys for uh, tuning in to watch another video of mine. I just wanted to share with you guys uh, my little uh, what I got at Savers and also to talk about uh, give an update on my jumpsuit along with uh, talking about two challenges that kind of sparked up some kind of sojo and I wanted to ask any of you that have ha entered in any challenges if how that uh, how is it really, you know, to enter challenges? I am wearing my cute little romper that I made a while ago. I will put the link in the video of where I made it and I will also put a picture uh, so you guys can see what I look like because I look amazing. Okay, so let me show you guys what I got at Savers. So this is what I got or I found, I should say, at Savers. It's this really pretty, like, blue, non-stretch, like, pattern. I don't know. I don't, people always say, like, this is kind of like a rayon or whatever, and I don't know what this is, but it feels like, hear this. You guys, just hear this. Doesn't it sound like a fabric that could use a really cute lining or, like, I don't know it's just really really pretty and oh my gosh I wish you guys could see just how beautiful this is and then when I open it like look look at how pretty that is this was a gray tag so it was not on sale um, I did not get half off it was six dollars for almost five yards of five yards of fabric which is it's totally, I gotta stop putting this on me because I need to wash it. And then I bought this one. This was a green tag. Therefore, it was only 50 cents. This one was on sale. And I got this because I really like tops like this. Yeah, I like all of these. So I thought it was cute. So yeah, I only got two things at Sabres. So now let's go ahead and jump over to talking about my jumpsuit. So... I have the top panel. I have the pieces all done, okay? I have like this is, I believe this is the back piece and with the string and then this is the legs. So I have everything, I have all the pieces done. I just have to blend them all together. Moving on now to the two challenges that I am really excited for and I am truly considering in joining. I don't get into challenges because I don't want to freak out on a timeline and I know they give you a long time but I don't know. I don't know why I haven't done it. I always feel like I'm not I'm not good enough yet to enter a challenge but these two challenges have really like gotten me excited okay so the first challenge that i saw today was on instagram and lisa is the one that actually posted it because i follow lisa and that's who shared it and i was like oh and it's sewing a jumpsuit for summer And you have to sew your jumpsuit before the 21st of June and post it. So it has to be posted by the 21st of June and you have to tag all these people. These are some patterns that I have to sew jumpsuits. And I hope you guys can help me make a decision on what jumpsuit I should make. Um, but I have this one which is the Simplicity 8255 and it's only three pieces. It's super easy to sew, but see, it's only um it's only three pieces, okay? And but look how cute it is. Like 
I wouldn't, I would not make mine black though because it is hot in Arizona. I love the weather though. I love it. I wouldn't change it, but it gets hot here. So I also have the new look D0614 and this is another jumpsuit. I just, I don't like this ruffling up here. I feel like it's too much. I already feel like I have broad shoulders, so I wouldn't want anything to accentuate that. You know what I mean? I don't know. Maybe I could be wrong. Maybe it'll flatter me. And you guys already know the new look, uh, D0609, which is actually one of my favorite things to make. Um, I have made the romper, and I still wear it all the time. Um... And this is they do have like a jumpsuit version and see that but I don't know guys I don't know um, you guys know that I've made the Joni jumpsuit I did make alterations to the bottom because I didn't like how open they were um, let me know if this one might actually be really cute to do my version okay this one I think I might actually pick this one. I know I'm asking you guys for suggestions, but like. If you guys sew, you guys know how many times you change your mind. And when people give you suggestions like, oh yeah, that's nice. But then you always change your mind. Like, why do we do that? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. But look at this one. I loved how this is opened, the, the openness in the arms. But look at that. Even in that color is really, really cute. And I love the deep V. I like the back, how it's that lace. It's really, really cute. I don't know. Maybe I'm going to just choose it. But I just, help me out, you guys. Would this be good for the jumpsuit challenge? I don't, I don't know, you know? The next one is actually like a maxi dress challenge and it's, I believe, it's called um, So Maxi for Mother's Day. And that is a Mother's Day challenge. I thought, what a, what a cute idea, you know what I mean? Like, that is a very, very cute idea. Um, I don't ever wear maxi dresses because of my height. I thought that I they just wouldn't look cute on me. I, but I have seen so many women wear maxi dresses who are my height, and it actually looks really cute on them. It just depends how you make it the only pattern that i have that is an actual maxi dress is the d0609 and it's this one and i honestly would probably take this slit and make it higher because that's just who i am okay okay but i think that this would come out super super cute so i am going to finish my current jumpsuit um and then i'll probably move on to one of the one of these next two patterns but yeah let me know how you guys are sewing um i still am going to upload my rice water challenge i already recorded the video i'm just not happy with it i didn't realize all the information that i have until i started talking and the next thing i knew it was like a 40 minute video and i was like oh okay so i'm going to remake it and then i'll have that up for you guys shortly so stay tuned for that still okay guys it's coming i promise but yeah thank you guys again so much for watching i will see you guys again in a few days hopefully i have my jumpsuit done because it is taking a while okay it is taking a while we just hit our uh, one of our mood board goals of 2019 and we finally went camping this is the first time that i have ever gone camping and my kids have ever gone my husband has gone camping before years ago but this is the first time we go as a family it was a lot of fun it was very relaxing and soothing if you haven't checked out that video checked it out if you haven't checked out my mood board goals for 2019 go check it go check out that video as well um I can't wait for the end of the year to show all the fun things that we've done this year already. But yeah.
thank you guys again so much for watching i hope you guys are enjoying the month of april um yeah thank you guys again so much have a great day week month and a blessed year bye